Muhammad ibn Zakaria al Razi, Wikipedia article audio. Abu Bakr Muhammad ibn Zakaria al Razi, was a Persian polymath, physician, alchemist, philosopher, and important figure in the history of medicine. He also wrote on logic, astronomy, and grammar. Biography Contributions to Medicine Psychology and Psychotherapy Smallpox vs. Measles Meningitis Pharmacy Ethics of Medicine Books and Articles on Medicine Books on Medicine Translations Alchemy The Transmutation of Metals Chemical Instruments and Substances Major Works on Alchemy Books on Alchemy Philosophy Metaphysics Excerpt from the Philosophical Approach Books on Philosophy Views on Religion Criticism Legacy Quotes about Razi Notes A comprehensive thinker, Reza made fundamental and enduring contributions to various fields, which he recorded in over 200 manuscripts, and is particularly remembered for numerous advances in medicine through his observations and discoveries. An early proponent of experimental medicine, he became a successful doctor, and served as chief physician of Baghdad and Ray hospitals. As a teacher of medicine, he attracted students of all backgrounds and interests and was said to be compassionate and devoted to the service of his patients, whether rich or poor. Primary Literature According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, he was among the first to use humoral theory to distinguish one contagious disease from another, and wrote a pioneering book about smallpox and measles providing clinical characterization of the diseases. He also discovered numerous compounds and chemicals including alcohol and kerosene, among others. By Razi By others Through translation, his medical works and ideas became known among medieval European practitioners and profoundly influenced medical education in the Latin West. Some volumes of his work Almansuri, namely on surgery and a general book on therapy, became part of the medical curriculum in Western universities. Edward Granville Brown considers him as probably the greatest and most original of all the Muslim physicians and one of the most prolific as an author. Additionally, he has been described as a doctor's doctor, the father of pediatrics, and a pioneer of ophthalmology. For example, he was the first to recognize the reaction of the eye's pupil to light. Reza was born in the city of Ray situated on the Great Silk Road that for centuries facilitated trade and cultural exchanges between East and West. His nisba, Reza, means from the city of Ray in Persian. It is located on the southern slopes of the Alborz mountain range situated near Tehran, Iran. In his youth, Reza moved to Baghdad where he studied and practiced at the local Bimaristan. Later, he was invited back to Ray by Mansur ibn Ishak, then the governor of Ray, and became a Bimaristan's head. He dedicated two books on medicine to Mansur ibn Ishak, The Spiritual Physic and Al-Mansuri on Medicine. Because of his newly acquired popularity as physician, Reza was invited to Baghdad where he assumed the responsibilities of a director in a new hospital named after its founder al mu Ta, I.D. Under the reign of al mu son, al mutaf Reza was commissioned to build a new hospital, which should be the largest of the Abbasid Caliphate. To pick the future hospital's location, 
Raisi adopted what is nowadays known as an evidence-based approach suggesting having fresh meat hung in various places throughout the city and to build the hospital where meat took longest to rot. He spent the last years of his life in his native ray suffering from glaucoma. His eye affliction started with cataracts and ended in total blindness. The cause of his blindness is uncertain. One account mentioned by IBN Joljol attributed the cause to a blow to his head by his patron, Mansur IBN Ishak, for failing to provide proof for his alchemy theories, while Abul Faraj and Kasiri claimed that the cause was a diet of beans only. Allegedly, he was approached by a physician offering an ointment to cure his blindness. Al Reza then asked him how many layers does the eye contain and when he was unable to receive an answer, he declined the treatment stating my eyes will not be treated by one who does not know the basics of its anatomy. The lectures of Reza attracted many students. As Ibn al nadim relates in Firaist, Reza was considered a sheikh an honorary title given to one entitled to teach and surrounded by several circles of students. When someone raised a question, it was passed on to students of the first circle, if they did not know the answer, it was passed on to those of the second circle, and so on. When all students would fail to answer, Reza himself would consider the query. Reza was a generous person by nature with a considerate attitude towards his patients. He was charitable to the poor, treated them without payment in any form, and wrote for them a treatise man lawyer. Yura Hual, Aviv, or who has no physician to attend him, with medical advice. One former pupil from Tabaristan came to look after him, but as Al-Biruni wrote, Razi rewarded him for his intentions and sent him back home, proclaiming that his final days were approaching. According to Biruni, Reza died in Ray in 925 60 years of age. Biruni, who considered Razi as his mentor, among the first penned a short biography of Razi including a bibliography of his numerous works. Ibn al nadim recorded an account by Razi of a Chinese student who copied down all of Galen's works in Chinese as Razi read them to him out loud after the student learned fluent Arabic in five months and attended Razi's lectures. After his death, his fame spread beyond the Middle East to medieval Europe, and lived on. In an undated catalogue of the library at Peterborough Abbey, most likely from the 14th century, Reza is listed as a part author of ten books on medicine. Al Reza was one of the world's first great medical experts. He is considered the father of psychology and psychotherapy. Reza wrote Smallpox appears when blood boils and is infected, resulting in vapors being expelled. Thus juvenile blood is being transformed into richer blood, having the color of mature wine. At this stage, smallpox shows up essentially as bubbles found in wine, this disease can also occur at other times. The best thing to do during this first stage is to keep away from it, otherwise this disease might turn into an epidemic. This diagnosis is acknowledged by the Encyclopedia Britannica, which states, the most trustworthy statements as to the early existence of the disease are found in an account by the 9th century Persian physician Raises, by whom its symptoms were clearly described, its pathology explained by a humoral or fermentation theory, and directions given for its treatment. Reza's book al Judari Wa al Hezba was the first book describing smallpox and measles as distinct diseases. It was translated more than a dozen times into Latin and other European languages. Its lack of dogmatism and its Hippocratic reliance on clinical observation show Reza's medical methods. For example, he wrote, 
The eruption of smallpox is preceded by a continued fever, pain in the back, itching in the nose and nightmares during sleep. These are the more acute symptoms of its approach together with a noticeable pain in the back accompanied by fever and an itching felt by the patient all over his body. A swelling of the face appears, which comes and goes, and one notices an overall inflammatory color noticeable as a strong redness on both cheeks and around both eyes. One experiences a heaviness of the whole body and great restlessness which expresses itself as a lot of stretching and yawning. There is a pain in the throat and chest and one finds it difficult to breathe and cough. Additional symptoms are, dryness of breath, thick spittle, hoarseness of the voice, pain and heaviness of the head, restlessness, nausea and anxiety. Altogether one experiences heat over the whole body, one has an inflamed colon and one shows an overall shining redness, with a very pronounced redness of the gums. Reza compared the outcome of patients with meningitis treated with bloodletting with the outcome of those treated without it to see if bloodletting could help. Reza contributed in many ways to the early practice of pharmacy by compiling texts, in which he introduces the use of mercurial ointments and his development of apparatus such as mortars, flasks, spatulas, and files, which were used in pharmacies until the early 20th century. On a professional level, Reza introduced many practical, progressive, medical, and psychological ideas. He attacked charlatans and fake doctors who roamed the cities and countryside selling their nostrums and cures. At the same time, he warned that even highly educated doctors did not have the answers to all medical problems and could not cure all sicknesses or heal every disease, which was humanly speaking impossible. To become more useful in their services and truer to their calling, Reza advised practitioners to keep up with advanced knowledge by continually studying medical books and exposing themselves to new information. He made a distinction between curable and incurable diseases. Pertaining to the latter, he commented that in the case of advanced cases of cancer and leprosy the physician should not be blamed when he could not cure them. To add a humorous note, Reza felt great pity for physicians who took care for the well-being of princes, nobility, and women, because they did not obey the doctor's orders to restrict their diet or get medical treatment, thus making it most difficult being their physician. He also wrote the following on medical ethics. The doctor's aim is to do good, even to our enemies, so much more to our friends and my profession forbids us to do harm to our kindred, as it is instituted for the benefit and welfare of the human race, and God imposed on physicians the oath not to compose mortiferous remedies. This 23-volume set medical textbooks contains the foundation of gynecology, obstetrics, and ophthalmic surgery. This monumental medical encyclopedia in nine volumes known in Europe also as the Large Comprehensive or Continens Liber contains considerations and criticism on the Greek philosophers Aristotle and Plato, and expresses innovative views on many subjects. Because of this book alone, many scholars consider Reza the greatest medical doctor of the Middle Ages. The Al-Hawi is not a formal medical encyclopedia, but a posthumous compilation of Reza's working notebooks, which included knowledge gathered from other books as well as original observations on diseases and therapies, based on his own clinical experience. It is significant since it contains a celebrated monograph on smallpox, the earliest one known. It was translated into Latin in 1279 by Faraj ben Salim, a physician of Sicilian Jewish origin employed by Charles of Anjou, and after which it had a considerable influence in Europe. The Al-Hawi also criticized the views of Galen, 
after Reza had observed many clinical cases which did not follow Galen's descriptions of fevers. For example, he stated that Galen's descriptions of urinary ailments were inaccurate as he had only seen three cases, while Reza had studied hundreds of such cases in hospitals of Baghdad and Ray. Reza was possibly the first Persian doctor to deliberately write a home medical manual directed at the general public. He dedicated it to the poor, the traveller, and the ordinary citizen who could consult it for treatment of common ailments when a doctor was not available. This book is of special interest to the history of pharmacy since similar books were very popular until the 20th century. Reza described in its 36 chapters, diets and drug components that can be found in either an apothecary, a marketplace, in well-equipped kitchens, or in, in military camps. Thus, every intelligent person could follow its instructions and prepare the proper recipes with good results. Some of the illnesses treated were headaches, colds, coughing, melancholy and diseases of the eye, ear, and stomach. For example, he prescribed for a feverish headache, two parts of dun of rose, to be mixed with one part of vinegar, in which a piece of linen cloth is dipped and compressed on the forehead. He recommended as a laxative, seven drams of dried violet flowers with twenty pears, macerated and well mixed, then strained. Add to this filtrate, 20 drams of sugar for a drink. In cases of melancholy, he invariably recommended prescriptions, which included either poppies or its juice, cuscuta epithymum, or both. For an eye remedy, he advised myrrh, saffron, and frankincense, 2 drams each, to be mixed with 1 dram of yellow arsenic formed into tablets. Each tablet was to be dissolved in a sufficient quantity of coriander water and used as eye drops. In his book Doubts About Galen, Reza rejects several claims made by the Greek physician, as far as the alleged superiority of the Greek language and many of his cosmological and medical views. He links medicine with philosophy, and states that sound practice demands independent thinking. He reports that Galen's descriptions do not agree with his own clinical observations regarding the run of a fever. And in some cases he finds that his clinical experience exceeds Galen's. He criticized moreover Galen's theory that the body possessed four separate humors, whose balance are the key to health and a natural body temperature. A sure way to upset such a system was to insert a liquid with a different temperature into the body resulting in an increase or decrease of bodily heat, which resembled the temperature of that particular fluid. Reza noted that a warm drink would heat up the body to a degree much higher than its own natural temperature. Thus the drink would trigger a response from the body, rather than transferring only its own warmth or coldness to it. This line of criticism essentially had the potential to completely refute Galen's theory of humors, as well as Aristotle's theory of the four elements, on which it was grounded. Reza's own alchemical experiments suggested other qualities of matter, such as oiliness and sulfuriousness, or inflammability and salinity, which were not readily explained by the traditional fire, water, earth, and air division of elements. Mufid al kavas The Book for the Elite, The Book of Experiences, The Cause of the Death of Most Animals Because of Poisonous Wines, The Physician's Experiments, The Person Who Has No Access to Physicians, The Big Pharmacology, The Small Pharmacology, Gout, Al Shakuk al Jali Noos, The Doubt on Galen, Kidney and Bladder Stones, Ketab Tib Ar Ruhani, The Spiritual Physic of Raises. Secondary Literature Encyclopedia The Secret Spiritual Medicine, 
the philosophical approach, the metaphysics. Ray's challenge to the current fundamentals of medical theory were quite controversial. Many accused him of ignorance and arrogance, even though he repeatedly expressed his praise and gratitude to Galen for his contributions and labors, saying, I prayed to God to direct and lead me to the truth in writing this book. It grieves me to oppose and criticize the man Galen from whose sea of knowledge I have drawn much. Indeed, he is the master and I am the disciple. Although this reverence and appreciation will and should not prevent me from doubting, as I did, what is erroneous in his theories. I imagine and feel deeply in my heart that Galen has chosen me to undertake this task, and if he were alive, he would have congratulated me on what I am doing. I say this because Galen's aim was to seek and find the truth and bring light out of darkness. I wish indeed he were alive to read what I have published. Reza believed that contemporary scientists and scholars are by far better equipped, more knowledgeable, and more competent than the ancient ones, due to the accumulated knowledge at their disposal. Reza's attempt to overthrow blind acceptance of the unchallenged authority of ancient sages encouraged and stimulated research and advances in the arts, technology, and sciences. Reza's The Diseases of Children was the first monograph to deal with pediatrics as an independent field of medicine. As many other theorists in his time of exploration of illnesses, he believed that mental illnesses were caused by demons. Demons were believed to enter the body and possess the body. This is a partial list of Reyes's books and articles in medicine, according to IBN ABI Eusebia. Some books may have been copied or printed under different names. Reyes's notable books and articles on medicine include Raises interest in alchemy and his strong belief in the possibility of transmutation of lesser metals to silver and gold was attested half a century after his death by IBN and Nadim S. Book. Nadim attributed a series of twelve books to Razi, plus an additional seven, including his refutation to Alkindi's denial of the validity of alchemy. Al-Kindi had been appointed by the Abbasid Caliph Mamum founder of Baghdad, to the House of Wisdom in that city, he was a philosopher and an opponent of alchemy. Raises two best-known alchemical texts, which largely superseded his earlier ones, Al-Ashrur, and Sir Al-Ashrur, which incorporates much of the previous work. Apparently Reza's contemporaries believed that he had obtained the secret of turning iron and copper into gold. Biographer Khosro Moedizd reports in Mohammed Zakaria Reza that a certain general Simjur confronted Reza in public, and asked whether that was the underlying reason for his willingness to treat patients without a fee. It appeared to those present that Reza was reluctant to answer. He looked sideways at the general and replied. I understand alchemy and I have been working on the characteristic properties of metals for an extended time. However, it still has not turned out to be evident to me, how one can transmute gold from copper. Despite the research from the ancient scientists done over the past centuries, there has been no answer. I very much doubt if it is possible. According to one legend he could have been blinded by steaming vapors during an accident in one of his experiments. He managed to escape with no injuries. Reza developed several chemical instruments that remain in use to this day. He is known to have perfected methods of distillation to gain alcohol and extraction. A.R. Reza dismissed the idea of potions and dispensed with magic, meaning the reliance on symbols as causes. Although Reza does not reject the idea that miracles exist, in the sense of unexplained phenomena in nature, his alchemical stockroom was enriched with products of Persian mining and manufacturing, 
even with sal ammoniac, a Chinese discovery. He relied predominantly on the concept of dominant forms or essences, which is the Neoplatonic conception of causality rather than an intellectual approach or a mechanical one. Reyes's alchemy brings forward such empiric qualities as salinity and inflammability the latter associated to oiliness and sulfuriousness. These properties are not readily explained by the traditional composition of the elements such as, fire, water, earth, and air, as Alahazali and others after him were quick to note, influenced by critical thoughts such as Reza had. Reza's works present the first systematic classification of carefully observed and verified facts regarding chemical substances, reactions, and apparatus described in a language almost entirely free from mysticism and ambiguity. Here is a list of Reza's known books on alchemy, mostly in Persian. The metaphysical doctrine of Reza derives from the theory of the Five Eternals, according to which the world is produced out of an interaction between God and four other eternal principles. He accepted a pre-Socratic type of atomism of the bodies, and for that he differed from both the Philosopha and the Mutakalimon. While he was influenced by Plato and the medical writers, mainly Galen, he rejected Teclid and thus expressed criticism about some of their views. This is evident from the title of one of his works, Doubts About Galen. In short, while I am writing the present book, I have written so far around 200 books and articles on different aspects of science, philosophy, theology, and hikmat. I never entered the service of any king as a military man or a man of office, and if I ever did have a conversation with a king, it never went beyond my medical responsibility and advice. Those who have seen me know that I did not into excess with eating, drinking, or acting the wrong way. As to my interest in science, people know perfectly well and must have witnessed how I have devoted all my life to science since my youth. My patience and diligence in the pursuit of science has been such that on one special issue specifically I have written 20,000 pages. Moreover I spent 15 years of my life night and day writing the big collection entitled Al-Hawi. It was during this time that I lost my eyesight, my hand became paralyzed, with the result that I am now deprived of reading and writing. Nonetheless, I've never given up, but kept on reading and writing with the help of others. I could make concessions with my opponents and admit some shortcomings but I am most curious what they have to say about my scientific achievement. If they consider my approach incorrect, they could present their views and state their points clearly, so that I may study them, and if I determined their views to be right, I would admit it. However, if I disagreed, I would discuss the matter to prove my standpoint. If this is not the case, and they merely disagree with my approach and way of life, I would appreciate they only use my written knowledge and stop interfering with my behavior. In the philosophical biography, as seen above, he defended his personal and philosophical lifestyle. In this work he laid out a framework based on the idea that there is life after death full of happiness, not suffering. Rather than being self-indulgent, man should pursue knowledge, utilize his intellect and apply justice in his life. According to al Razi, this is what our merciful Creator wants. The one to whom we pray for reward and whose punishment we fear. In brief, man should be kind, gentle and just. Al-Raza believed that there is a close relationship between spiritual integrity and physical health. He did not implicate that the soul could avoid distress due to his fear of death. He simply states that this psychological state cannot be avoided completely unless the individual is convinced that, after death, 
the soul will lead a better life. This requires a thorough study of esoteric doctrines and slash or religions. He focuses on the opinion of some people who think that the soul perishes when the body dies. Death is inevitable, therefore one should not preoccupy the mind with it, because any person who continuously thinks about death will become distressed and think as if he is dying when he continuously ponders on that subject. Therefore, he should forget about it in order to avoid upsetting himself. When contemplating his destiny after death, a benevolent and good man who acts according to the ordinances of the Islamic Sharia, has after all nothing to fear because it indicates that he will have comfort and permanent bliss in the hereafter. The one who doubts the Sharia, may contemplate it, and if he diligently does this, he will not deviate from the right path. If he falls short, Allah will excuse him and forgive his sins because it is not demanded of him to do something which he cannot achieve. This is a partial list of Reza's books on philosophy. Some books may have been copied or published under different titles. Notable Books in English A number of contradictory works and statements about religion have been ascribed to Reza. According to Al-Biruni's bibliography of Reza, Reza wrote two heretical books, Fi al-Nubawait and Fi il al mutanabin According to Biruni, the first was claimed to be against religions and the second was claimed as attacking the necessity of the prophets. In his Risala, Biruni further criticized and expressed caution about Reza's religious views, noting an influence of Manichaeism. However, Biruni also listed some other works of Reza on religion including Fi Wujub Dawat al-Nabi al-Aman Nakarabai al-Nubawait and Fi Anali al-Insan Kalakan Mutkan and Hakaman, listed under his works on the Divine Sciences. None of his works on religion are now extant in full. Other views and quotes that are often ascribed to Razi are found in a book written by Abu Haydam al-Razi, called A. Lam al-Nubawa and not in any extant work of Reza himself. Abu Haydam was an Ismaili missionary who debated Reza, but whether he has faithfully recorded the views of Reza is disputed. According to Abdul Latif al-Abd, Islamic philosophy professor at Cairo University, Abu Haydam and his student, Amid al-Din Karmani, were Ismaili extremists who often misrepresented the views of Reza in their works. This view is also corroborated by early historians like al-Sharistani who noted that such accusations should be doubted since they were made by Isma, Elis, who had been severely attacked by Mu, Ahmed ibn Zakari Reza. Al-Abd points out that the views allegedly expressed by Reza contradict what is found in Reza's own works, like the spiritual medicine. Peter Adamson concurs that Abu Haydam may have deliberately misdescribed Reza's position as a rejection of Islam and revealed religions. Instead, Reza was only arguing against the use of miracles to prove Muhammad's prophecy, anthropomorphism, and the uncritical acceptance of Taklid vsna, ar. Adamson also points out to a work by Fakr al-Din al-Reza where Reza is quoted as citing the Quran and the Prophets to support his views. Some historians, such as Paul Kraus and Sarah Strumsa, except that the extracts found in Abu Haydam's book were either said by Reza during a debate or were quoted from a now lost work. They suggest that this lost work is either his famous al ilm al ilahi or another shorter independent work called Makarik al-Anbaya. Abu Haydam, however, did not explicitly mention Reza by name in his book, but referred to his interlocutor simply as the Mul, ID. According to the debate with Abu Haydam, Reza denied the validity of prophecy or other authority figures, and rejected prophetic miracles. 
He also directed a scathing critique on revealed religions and the miraculous quality of the Quran. Because of being seemingly unrestrained by any religious or philosophical tradition, Reza came to be admired as a freethinker by some. Al Reza's religious and philosophical views were later criticized by Abu Rayhan Biruni and Avicenna in the early 11th century. Biruni in particular wrote a short treatise dealing with Al Razi, criticizing him for his sympathy with Manichaeism, his hermetical writings, his religious and philosophical views, for refusing to mathematize physics, and his active opposition to mathematics. Avicenna, who was himself a physician and philosopher, also criticized Al Razi. During a debate with Biruni, Avicenna stated, Or from Muhammad ibn Zakariya al Razi, who meddles in metaphysics and exceeds his competence. He should have remained confined to surgery and to urine and stool testing. Indeed, he exposed himself and showed his ignorance in these matters. Nasri Khosrav posthumously accused him of having plagiarized Iran Shari, who Khosrav considered as the master of al Razi. The modern-day Reza Institute in Karaj and Reza University in Kerman Shah were named after him. A Reza Day is commemorated in Iran every August 27. In June 2009, Iran donated a Scholar's Pavilion or Kartagei to the United Nations office in Vienna, now placed in the central memorial plaza of the Vienna International Center. The pavilion features the statues of Razi, Avicenna, Abu Rayhan Biruni, and Omar Khayyam. Razi's was the greatest physician of Islam in the medieval ages. His writings on smallpox and measles show originality and accuracy, and his essay on infectious diseases was the first scientific treatise on the subject.